Category 5 Hurricane Irma continuing that march north of Puerto Rico, north of Hispaniola, right into the Turks and Caicos Islands, on track for the southeastern Bahamas and South Florida. I'm Mike Nasa with the latest on our extremely dangerous Category 5 hurricane. You can see it sitting there north of Hispaniola, just looking extremely impressive, great outflow symmetry, about as classic as a buzzsaw of a hurricane can get. And behind it, we have another strong hurricane, Hurricane Jose, and we now have hurricane watches for Antigua and Barbuda, of course, which were devastated, especially Barbuda, just a couple of days ago by Hurricane Irma. So we're going to have another strong hurricane to deal with. But let's get to the latest on Hurricane Irma, and this is as of the uh, 2 p.m. Eastern Time update. Uh, it was at 20.7 north, 70.4 west. So it's moved uh, more west and bumped a little north. West-northwest at 14 miles per hour, and that uh, wind speed still 175 miles per hour with uh, a 922 millibar pressure. That's the pressure Hurricane Andrew had when it went into South Florida 25 years ago. I should note that the forecast from the Hurricane Center brings it right into the southeastern coast of Florida. It could be further to the west, more over the Keys. It could be a little bit further to the east offshore. But either way, uh, a very, very devastating blow to south Florida looks more and more likely at this point in time. I should note that we do have a hurricane watch from Jupiter Inlet, Florida, south uh, to Bonita Beach on the uh, west coast. And that includes the Florida Keys, Lake Okeechobee, and Florida Bay. So the forecast here is uh, in generally good agreement at it ravaging the Turks, Caicos, the extreme southern Bahamas, and then taking a track, a turn, off towards the north, towards the area of Florida. This is uh, from the uh, National Weather Service weather office out of Miami. Uh, you can see the uh, wind threat with this hurricane, obviously a Category 4 or 5 hurricane, extreme devastating impacts across much of the South Florida Peninsula. Uh, the storm surge threat, obviously, in uh, anywhere from Collier to Miami-Dade, extremely high with a strong hurricane. There's also the threat of flooding with heavy rain and severe weather with tornadoes. We can't forget that hurricanes can also spawn a lot of tornadoes. There's the uh, satellite imagery of our hurricane. You can see just about as well organized as a hurricane can be. It's been fluctuating a bit uh, in intensity, but still a Category 5 based on the recon. Uh, very, very intense storm. Right around the eye of the hurricane is where those worst winds are. You can see they're headed into the Turks and Caicos. We're beginning to see winds gusting upwards close to hurricane force. And every time it starts to degrade a little, that convection just bursts right around the uh, western side because this hurricane is so strong. So again, if you live in the Turks, Caicos, the central Bahamas, right up in through southeast Florida, you guys need to be prepared for the worst. All right? This is about as bad as it can get. You can see the water vapor imagery showing a very impressive monster hurricane roaring right into the Turks and Caicos. There's another view of it on the visible satellite imagery, and you can see if we could bring up the visible. There we are. As the sun came up, just a very well-defined eye, still holding steady west-northwest, just north of Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. You can see that there is a chance that maybe we could get some drier air wrapping in, but remember, once it moves over the hot waters here towards the Straits of Florida, uh, we could actually see it uh, hold its own, at least. So this is very, very serious for South Florida. Uh, come Sunday morning, let's say, uh, we could have a very bad situation here. Looking at the computer model maps from tropicaltidbits.com, Levi Cohen uh, doing updates as well on this extremely dangerous hurricane. You can see the GFS model in 72 hours. Sunday has it over southeast Florida right on the coast as a Category 4 or 5 hurricane. And then when we look at the European model, which has shifted to the west, you can see that it takes it over the middle Florida Keys, the upper Florida Keys, again, Sunday morning as a Category 4 or 5 hurricane. And the Canadian model takes it into the upper Keys, maybe near Key Largo, as a uh, very dangerous major hurricane. So this is a real problem, guys. 
this is a real problem. When you start getting to the 60 to 80 hour range and you have this kind of model agreement, uh, look at what they did with Harvey. They were spot on showing Harvey becoming a monster. And uh, so this is uh, something we need to heed the evacuation orders and the preparedness going on in South Florida right now. Real quick, I want to touch on Jose. Now, I have new information, actually. Hurricane Jose, as of 2 p.m., was at 15.2, 51.4. It's moving west-northwest at 18, 978 millibars, 105 mile-per-hour winds. And you can see Hurricane Jose is expected to get very close to the exact islands impacted by Irma just the other day. Come Saturday, we could be dealing with a strong major hurricane very close to Antigua and Barbuda again, which is why we have hurricane watches out with Hurricane Jose. There you can see Jose on the uh, visible satellite looking very impressive, probably on its way to Category 3 strength, which would make it another major hurricane after Harvey and Irma. So it would be our third major hurricane, and uh, that is not good news for the islands. Finally, I don't want to leave out our other hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico, Hurricane Katia, which uh, was at uh, 21.6, 94.6, still stationary, not moving at all, 80 miles an hour, so Category 1, but it is anticipated to take a track southwest into the coastline of Mexico, which is why we have hurricane warnings for the coastline of Mexico, south of Tampico, and north of Veracruz, with the expectation of hurricane force winds. You can see Katia on the satellite not looking too great, but it's a small hurricane, and they could have quick up and downs in intensity. It is forecast to intensify, though. Uh, in the final analysis, Hurricane Irma, still a Category 5 hurricane, expected to be an extremely dangerous hurricane, moving through the Turks and Caicos Islands tonight through parts of the southern, uh, southern central Bahamas tomorrow, and then on track for South Florida, the Florida Keys, Southeast Florida, all up the coast. You guys need to be on alert, be following what local emergency officials are telling you. Get out of Dodge, because Irma is a very, very dangerous hurricane. The most dangerous hurricane to threaten South Florida since Andrew a quarter of a century ago. I'm Mike Naso, and I'll see you next time with more on catastrophic Hurricane Irma.